We welcome you back to BSPS News Channel. First, fast news. Gordon Hayward has suffered a, suffered a traumatic injury after the season debut game with the Boston Celtics versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. We now go to Camila to interview a bystander who watched the injury go down. Thank you, Cam. As we dive deeper into finding exactly what happened to Gordon Hayward, we ask a bystander of the game to describe to us what his reaction was and how the crowd reacted. This is Michael Rodriguez. He was sitting courtside at the debut game and saw all of this go down. Gordon's foot it, uh, looked like it was at a 90 degree angle. So, can you explain how it felt to watch this horrible injury go down? To be honest, I kind of felt really bad for him because it was opening. Probably hit the biggest shot in Cavs history. They're going up. Oh my goodness. Hayward came down so hard. Oh, okay. Hayward broke his leg. Hayward has broken his leg. Hayward has broken his leg. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And that is how quickly. Thanks for that. We'll go back to camp for more. Thanks again, Camila. We now talk to Dr. Jasmine, our team doctor, to go more in depth about Gordon's injury and his protective return. Now, we go over to Jasmine. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Jasmine? Can you hear me? Okay. Ja Jasmine, can you hear me? Hi, I'm Dr. Jasmine, and I'm the team doctor for the Boston Celtics. Gordon here was injured in the season opener versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. This happened because when he landed, he didn't have enough balance on his body, so it wasn't the correct position when he was coming down. This is his first injury, and it's a bad one. He has a fractured tibia and a dislocated ankle, and he was projected to be out until the playoff season. I would hate to have him on my fantasy team. A fractured tibia is an extremely difficult and painful injury to experience. However, with the innovative and amazing services from the Shields Health Group, our healthcare team from the Boston Celtics is projected to return in the middle of next season. The fractured tibial injury was especially difficult to deal with as it requires surgery and rehab which is a slow and long process. What is a dislocated ankle with a fractured tibia? It's a rare and traumatic injury. It happens when the bone that forms the ankle joint and connects to the lower leg, which is the talus ankle and tibia, are no longer together. The tibia is one of the lower leg's two long bones with the fibula on the side. They join at the talus to form a joint ankle. Some signs are swelling, immediate throbbing, bruising, tenderness, deformity, difficulty, or painful walking. The injury repair that was done was first a confirmation of the diagnosis and then a realignment of the dislocated joint. Final step was the process of rehab. How long does the injury take to heal? Averagely, it takes three to six months for a tibia fibula fracture. However, this number can fluctuate due to the severity of the injury. Although it may take several minutes for a dislocation to pop back into its place, it averages takes six to eight weeks to heal the surrounding tissues and ligaments. An example of a type of rehab he had for the initial rehab was aquatic. This rehab creates a natural weight limitation for his weight-bearing foot. We will hope he will heal fast and we will wait for his return. And now a short message from our, our paid sponsor, Retro Bowl. Hello guys. So there's a new game called Retro Bowl and I think y'all should download it because it gives an old head game a new school vibe. It's old people can play it for the older people and then young kids can play it. And I say it's somewhat educational for you parents out there because it teaches your kids how to manage a salary cap and it's a free to gate oh, free to play game and I really think you should download it. Thanks for watching BSPS News. Tune in for tomorrow. Hey